Hi, my name is Anaya and I'm seven years old. And today I'm going to have two steps to compete to make my dream dance. Rah! Hi there. I'm Hannah. And I'm Matthew. Nice to meet you. So we have a question for you. If you were a monster, what would you eat? You're getting meatballs. What the meatballs is going to be eyeballs. Eyeball meatballs? I don't know what I can do for that. If the meatballs are eyeballs, what's the spaghetti? Guess. Worms. No. <laughs> I don't. Look, I am a mother. I don't have time for guessing games. You just got to tell me what you want and I will serve it up. What would it be? What would the noodles be? <laughs> it's something green. Grass? Yes. Okay. The sauce is going to be pink sauce. I call it pinky, pinky, pink sauce. Pink. I could do some kind of like penne alla vodka, but I'm not gonna serve alcohol to a kid. You draw this for us now? Ooh, is that the bowl? So it's gonna be grass so it needs to be. The green looks great on the picture, but I don't think that actually applies to good food. Have you ever tried grass in real life before? No. Nope. I've eaten grass. I used to eat grass and sand when I was a kid. Would you have been my friend if you saw me eating grass and sand? Oh, Thank that's so you. sweet. She's the cutest freaking kid I've ever seen. And what color eyes are they? Yeah. Pink. Pink eyes. Pink eyes, okay. I chose to draw eyeball because monsters eat eyeballs. Is pink your favorite color? Yes. I can tell. You got pink, pink, pink. <laughs> so does the sauce go on top of the eyeballs? It's a surprise. A surprise. There's just so many games with this kid. Close your eyes. Okay, I will. Please let it not be like another eyeball inside of an eyeball. Hey, oh, uh, dead. So, this is beautiful. Do you think that Hannah and I can make this for you? Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna need it. So here's my plan. I know Matthew is going to go savory. So I'm gonna make a green ice cream spaghetti with red cake pop truffles coated in pink candy melts with some decoration on top to make them look like eyeballs. And then for her pink sauce, I'm just gonna do a very simple strawberry syrup. Okay, so here is my plan. I'm gonna make a ring of classic spaghetti with marinara sauce, and then I'm going to make eyeball meatballs with cheese in the center and olives for the pupils, and then I'm gonna put some herbs as the grass, I'll have some Parmesan cheese, and some sort of pink Alfredo sauce in the center for contrast. I am starting with a fresh box of cake. <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat, I'm a little bit of a mess and I'm a little bit nervous. So I'm following these instructions, doing a great job. Perfectly done boxed cake mix. Starting with some olive oil and some butter in my pot to cook my onions and garlic. He's like, chefy, I'm mommy. See, I hate adding food coloring to stuff. Like that's my kind of anti-mom stance. I'm gonna get these into the oven and start on the ice cream. Hannah mentioned ice cream. I was floored. There's no way I would have chosen to do that. Hannah is ambitious. Right now, I'm just kind of like sauteing the onions until they get kind of caramelized and soft. And then I'm gonna add in tomato paste to do a technique kind of called pinsage. And that's gonna add like some nuance to the marinara sauce. I'm listening to Matthew give a step-by-step -step of his recipe and it's like all these long words I don't understand. He's like Martha Stewart. Well, my sauce is a nuanced strawberry compote water mix. A little water, I don't know how much, so I'm just gonna add as needed. Okay, so I'm gonna start mixing my meatballs to make the eyeball meatballs. So I have three pounds of ground beef here and I'm gonna add different spices and some breadcrumbs and some egg. I'm gonna add ricotta, that's like my secret ingredient. So I'm gonna try something truly evil. Instead of using green food coloring, I'm gonna see if I can color the ice cream with the kale. Adding kale to ice cream is an A-plus mom move, but I'm not sure if Anaya will like it. Yeah, maybe this is the next big parenting trend. Hashtag kale ice cream, hashtag tricking my kids. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of these uh, sauteed onions. For the eyeballs, here are tiny little mozzarella balls that I'm gonna put into the meatballs. So off to the oven I go. And while those bake, I'm gonna start boiling my pasta. And this pasta is gonna cook for about 10 minutes or so. And I'm gonna add herbs and my tomato paste and tomato sauce to my onion. I've made marinara sauce and meatballs literally thousands of times in my life, but I don't know if it'll taste like the spaghetti she's used to. So another trick I saw on the internet, you take an empty can and you poke holes in it with a hammer and nails. And then you put your ice cream in and you can push it through and it makes spaghetti. 
It looked very easy on the video. Oh, okay. Looks good. So now I'm gonna add the herbs and the like pureed tomatoes to make a sauce. So I'm adding a little bit of chili flakes, not too much. And then some parsley, dried basil, some more salt, two bay leaves, and then this will just simmer. So usually with cake pops you mix a tub of frosting, but I think I'm gonna get some cream cheese out of the fridge too and do like nice. a mixture of cream cheese and frosting. Okay, so this is nice and mixed in. And then I have these pink candy melts to coat the outside. Uh, your meatballs smell incredible. Thank you. I have some extra, do you wanna try it? Yeah, I gotta see what I'm up against. Oh, <laughs> they're okay. <laughs> the olives are gonna kinda just be like the pupils of the eye. It couldn't have come out better. What kind of foods don't you like? I don't like olives and I don't want them to put olives in my food. I'm just doing some various sized cake pops. So the candy melt that I use to dip these cake pops is just not working for me. It's not smooth, it's lumpy, it's too thick. I am struggling so hard to get some round meatball shaped cake pops. I'm making like, you know, a roux right now and a roux is roughly about equal parts fat and flour. So I just took raw beets and pureed it. Let's start with that amount and I can kind of add more as I go. But oh, right, that's cool. So I'm piping the pupils on the cake pops and it's going well. I'm getting kind of like the outline of the iris and then the pupil and then I step back and look at it holistically and it well, did not turn out the way I thought. They look like boobs. Oh. <laughs> I can't breathe. Honest opinion, Matthew. More boob or less boob? I mean, I haven't seen too many boobs in my life. Um. <laughs> So I'm going to chop some herbs, chives, parsley, and basil. To put the grass on top, I'm going to put some sauce in the pan, pasta, and some cheese. Wow. I'm gonna make a little bit of like a well in the center. Okay, so for decorating this second round of cake pops, I just coated it in white chocolate that I mixed a bunch of coconut oil into. They stayed nice and round, they're not all lumpy. And then I have these little pink rock candies and I'm gonna make them like the iris of the eye. So it's a pink eye, it's just not a boot. This makes me feel happy, look at that. So second round of eyeballs are looking amazing. Everything I learned from my mistakes is now turning into a success. So now I'm putting on the eyeball meatballs. I'm going to pour this um, beet Alfredo into the well of my little eyeball grass nest. And then I'll put a little bit of Parmesan cheese over the top. I'm done. I know I cooked the best food I could today. I just hope it's something that Anaya will love. So this is my whole can, so let's see. Oh God, I'm not strong enough. Okay. Well, it's definitely working. It's just very hard to do. So I see Hannah, she's like hacking away at this can and I'm like, there has to be a better way. I gotta help her out. Uh, I saw you were struggling with the can thing. If you use this, I think you can squeeze the ice cream out better. And I won't have to struggle with my jar in the yeah. can. Oh, yay! this is amazing. Thank you so, oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see how this ricer works. Oh, shit! Yes! Look at that! Oh my god, I'm so I can't believe how well that worked. Seriously, it was like night and day. It was so easy and so amazing. Ta-da! It was a journey, we finally got done, and I think we did a good job. Good job. At this point, I've just gone through an entire emotional roller coaster. I took her drawing that was very literal and I made a very abstract interpretation. All I know is that I did not put cake pop boobs on this plate. So I'm feeling great about my dish. I have the perfect spaghetti, the marinara sauce is, oh. And the meatballs, it turned out perfectly. I think Anaya is gonna be impressed with how it looks like her dish, but how it still reminds her of home. Bring on the monster spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> well, that looks like a, something that the monster will eat. Yes, it, it, that's what I was going for. A little piece of butter. Mm. Mm. It tastes good. It tastes like my mom and my grandma's spaghetti. She said it reminds her of how her mom and her grandmother made it. I can't do better than that. Mm. Good, it tastes like yogurt. Oh, I think I know what this is. It's cheese! Mm. 
my first favorite part is the spaghetti, and my second favorite part is the pink sauce. When I draw my drawing, that's how I expect it. Whoop! Hey, what's this pink stuff? It's hard. And so is this. The black stuff is a little hard. And now I'm gonna try this spaghetti. This is ice cream. It tastes like vanilla ice cream. She immediately said vanilla, so didn't notice the kale. Hi, boss. Tastes like a vanilla cupcake. But I want to find out what the pink stuff is. The pink stuff is crunchy. It's candy. My first favorite part is the candy, and my second favorite part is the stuff for the cupcake, and my third favorite part is the black frosting. So she tasted everything. Seems like she liked all of it. So going into this deciding round, I think either one is fair game. Hey, Anaya. Hello. Oh. So, Anaya, I heard you say you like both dishes a lot. Which but one? My favorite and dessert. It is kind of like you had your dinner and then you had your dessert. So which one was your favorite? The spaghetti. Spaghetti? Yeah. Stay with me! I mean, I'm not surprised. He deserved it. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. Yay! Yay! But we're glad you enjoyed both. Oh my god! Seth Matthew, here's your prize. Oh my god, Anaya. Wow. Hannah and her ice cream, I tried it, it was delicious. She did a great job, but end of day, I'm really glad that I came out on top. If you wanna win, you have to keep your eyes on the prize. Or I mean, I guess a bowl full of eyes on the prize. <laughs>